years, I have been on a black coffee kick. I used to only drink black coffee, like back in Canada. My dad also loves a black coffee, so maybe it's just ingrained into me. So anyways, <laughs> welcome back to my day in the life. I thought I would just, um, instead of like a full weekly vlog, just because things are all over the place, there's a lot of work going on in my job, but also in the house and it's just a, mm, a little crack. It's just a little bit crazy at the moment. So I thought I'd just do like, you know, two days to actually show you some things that I'm doing rather than a week where I forget half of it anyways. Um, quickly, <laughs> so, I don't know if it's lockdown, but nails. Let's just talk nails for a second. I love getting my nails done. You guys know I go to Lucker Beauty. That's where I go. Amy is my girl. She just does my nails perfectly. And I'm really struggling because I feel like postpartum nails hate me. They absolutely hate me. They break all the time. So I have to put a gel on them. But because I'm so intense with trying like little designs, it literally is a three hour like situation. Last night we watched three different shows and I still had a right hand to do. So I saw a little picture. My nails weren't long enough for this design, but <laughs> was that going to stop me? No. So I saw this picture of like cute little Easter nails. And basically it was like a French manicure on the top and the bottom and then like super lightly connected. Like I didn't do awful on the hand that is my harder hand to do, but it would have been a lot cuter if my nails were longer. But you know what? We did it. This is my better hand using my hand to paint, but it didn't do too bad, right? Anyways, these are my Easter nails that kind of look like I have dirt in them, but sure, it is what it is. I did, however, I want to show you. This is an Irish business she uses irish linens and like the most beautiful little accessories in they're like hanging decor items but she has more stuff on her site i'll link her down below her name's katie larmore hopefully i'm saying that right irish unit linen is the fabric that's used how cute are these little hanging ornaments for easter she sent me the little easter bunny and also little easter eggs but there's like little pearl like detailing on it with like gold beading oh, how flippin cute is that i've seen on pinterest and on instagram where you just get like a vase that you have and like some branches literally i'm just gonna go out in the backyard and cut some branches and then you put it in and then you hang the little easter eggs and you can also hang like little chocolates in it too thought that was really cute and you know what let's get creative here so i'm gonna do that today also if you don't follow me on instagram i have re-found my love for the chanel water tint base it's like a, a base skin base product not necessarily a foundation or a bronzer it's like a, a watery consistency and it gives very minimal coverage but it's all i have on today with just a little bit of concealer on scarring also my skin has been loving me absolutely loving me you already know what it is it's those little supplements i take for skin and digestion i just signed up for the monthly reorders so you save like 15 percent that way doing it and um, i'll link again down below my skincare routine that i'm doing with those in it but they've been amazing i think i spent 25 pounds a month on those pills and they've been working wonders for me because your skin is your largest organ and it works from within and i never really treated it that way i always did topical so thank you because i was breaking out so much for like months and i just couldn't sort it with like just topical products so now combating from the inside and outside fusing together is and lastly because this is the longest like first scene intro sorry ever <laughs> um wanted to show you my hey harper jewelry i'll always link down below it's the waterproof jewelry i wear these every day so there's like a nice chunky ring this one's like a little bit more of a statement ring with some texture on the top and a nice chunky chain bracelet and then a really thin one that like genuinely you don't even feel on your wrist at all then i have the little huggy hoops and some of these necklaces i run with these i put lotion on with these i wash my hands constantly with these and they don't tarnish so i have a little 15 percent off code as well down below but check out if you want and let's get on with our day for lunch this is actually one of my favorite meals <laughs> growing up was pierogies i found them in asda in the polish fridge section and I was so happy because I can't find them anywhere here so I was really happy when I found them they're just the potato ones not the meat ones and then an easy Caesar salad Oscar also is a massive fan of pierogies so it's a good day right Oski yeah 
Okay, so I just got a pair of jeans in the mail and Patty and I are debating. I like the style, I'm gonna have to get Patty to show the full length, but as you can see, like the zipper is like slanted. It's like not straight here. I feel like it's just off, which is just a bit weird. Great Patty, show the bottom half. Oh, they're not misguided? Pretty little thing. Oh, sorry. <laughs> pretty little thing. <laughs> little pretty. <laughs> All right, these are them. Really cute, right? Like I feel like you can wear them so many different ways, obviously with heels because they're a little bit like oversized and like split at the bottom, but the hem here, not the hem, the, what's this called, zipper, is definitely not centered. Like, <laughs> and I don't think it's like one of the cool like crisscross ones, like it's just a bad stitch job. So I'm gonna exchange them for the 10 anyways, just because I'm noticing back here, they're just a little loose on first wear, which jeans normally get a little looser the more you wear them. So I'd prefer a little bit tighter and then they can loosen with wear, but I think they're a really cute color and I love the split at the side, so I'm gonna go do that right now. While we're here, I just thought I would show what my body looks like nine months postpartum after baby number two. This is just all the extra skin that you get with baby love, obviously my <laughs> jean lines from my previous jeans, but just, you know, more loving and Weirdly, I am the most confident in this body that I have now, which there's just a little bit more love here. Obviously, you have a little bit more here from your uterus stretching out, but I'm just so proud of it. It's healthy, I'm able to run three times a week, but you know what, we got a little bit of extra love and I'm not worried about losing it fast, slow and steady, right? Crazy what the human body can do. Just wanted to encourage you if you feel like you're feeling down about your body or worried about your body after having kids, it's totally normal. I turned 30 this August and I was probably harder on my body at 21 when I had like almost abs and <laughs> pretty toned skin everywhere where now it's a lot looser and there's obviously extra fat in places that there wasn't before, but I just feel so much more comfortable and more settled and just content in who I am that, I don't know, my body doesn't define me. And I, I've known from a young age that putting your worth into your body really just, there's no point in it because it's going to change all the time. It's never gonna be the same. Like it's gonna look different in another nine months. I found with Olive, I didn't really have a pre-baby body, never did go back pre-baby, but you know, size-wise, um, till about 18 months. So everyone's different. Some people bounce back within a couple weeks and that is fine. Everyone's genetic makeup is different. Everyone's postpartum journey is different. Pregnancy journey is different. Please try not to compare because you're wonderful, you're beautiful, you're unique. No one can be you. Tell yourself every day that you love yourself, you're proud of what your body can do. Also, when I was at my leanest and, you know, smallest body size, I literally couldn't even run for five minutes. And the fact that I can run three 5Ks weekly is just amazing. I'm really proud of how strong my body has become, not only holding two babies, but also with what it can do exercise-wise. And I just hope that can encourage someone. Love you. How pretty are white tulips? I never was a fan of them, but lately, especially in the kitchen, love them for spring. They're definitely on like the last couple days because they're really blooming, but so pretty. We're just getting ready to pick all of up from Nana's and then we're gonna go for a little walk by the ocean. Oscar's in his little play pen thing. Oscar, you wanna say hi? Do you wanna say hi? <gasps> Hello! <laughs> You're so cute. Also, I probably changed like 50 times today. Nothing new there. Literally was like that as a child as well too. I uh, just had a little Zoom meeting with a brand, which was very exciting. Some things to go with the renovation, which I think picked back up tomorrow. They had a day break. They have been doing incredible, honestly. Everything has been going so quickly, but it's just a lot of like the unseen things, like plumbing, electricity, 
all that stuff, like all the piping work is being done now. So now it's finishing it up, like putting plaster on the walls, putting the flooring down, insulating, all that fun stuff. So hopefully there will be another renovation update very soon. Have a nice little dinner set up here with our little fire patio. Oscar's over here in the high chair. We have carrot and suede chips and stuffed chicken. <laughs> Is it yummy? Yeah, you love it. <laughs> I'm here. You're here? Do you love it outside? <laughs> Do you love the fire, Oscar? <laughs> Great entertainment, multi purpose. <laughs> Good morning, everyone. It is now Thursday. I that weekly vlog. I literally forgot a day. I was very busy to be fair and I brought Olive with me everywhere that I was going. Um, just like my little assistant and she's really cute at three years old. Like all her comments are really funny. But yesterday was really chill. I did do a very natural tan last night. I don't know if it's picking up. <laughs> this is how you show up natural tan. Um, it's a Vita Labrada. Um, I think it's just like their regular mousse, the medium though. Didn't want it too intense because we have three days of 12 degrees in the sun, so better believe I'm gonna be sitting outside. <laughs> just made another coffee. Oscar's up, all still sleeping. Time changes in our favor for this time of year, so it's 8, 8.23, and she normally sleeps until about nine because she normally used to sleep, sleep until eight. But the hour forward, nine. So we, also, it's April 1st, oh my goodness. Happy, happy April 1st, happy April Fools. We can have people in our back garden. So exciting, it's a good day. Ooh, is it gonna focus? Okay, I just got off a phone call with a brand that I'm working with on this utility room door, and let me tell you, I'm so excited because, I'm gonna turn you around. This utility room door has been the bane of my existence. It was obviously original to the house, so we just painted it for a quick fix, but it's all like chipping everywhere. The other side is completely ruined because of just traffic, but we're updating it to this really sleek, modern, mostly all glass, frameless door. It's gonna be here in two weeks, so watch this space. Hey guys, so it is now, what time is it? 9 p.m. Patty had to go drop off the car at the garage because the brake pads um, stopped working. Is that the right term? One is like, like really thin uh, we still have one of the guys here working on our shed talk about commitment nine o'clock on a Thursday evening Easter weekend <laughs> um anyways not oh, my laptop just died wanted to show you this cute little oversized crew neck kind of like varsity style like I went for medium large it's um, a Canadian brand I believe called brunette the label I'll link it down below, but they have really cute little sweaters like this and track suits. Um, ones that say blonde, brunette, redhead, and then I went for the natural one because <laughs> can't really rely on me being one color for too long ever, right? Um, went for medium large, so it was a nice oversized fit, and I love like the creamy color. Oh, and it's so soft inside. Anyways, that is gonna be the end of my video. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.